Hi, my name's Laura McSpadden, and I have some things I'd like to say for the It Gets Better project. Um, over 12 years ago, I tried to kill myself, and I survived. It's been very difficult for me to figure out what I wanted to say, because sometimes it's still a struggle. So the way I approached this, knowing that I had to say something in response to all of the recently publicized teen suicides, was to write a letter to me when I was 17 years old and contemplating suicide. <sighs> Dear Laura, believe me, I know how you feel. I know that right now you don't think that anyone understands that you're completely alone. But you aren't. Right there, right where you are, alone in your dorm room, surrounded by your pain and your implements of destruction, the person you will become is within you, aching for your survival. Laura, it's not going to get better quickly. You are going to wake up in the hospital and be so angry so disappointed that you are still alive. You will continue to make one self-destructive decision after another. You will intentionally put yourself into jobs, relationships, locations, and situations that are hurtful and untrue to who you know yourself to be. People will doubt your judgment. People will continue to judge you you will be so hard on yourself for all of this. But it's okay, because I understand. I've been there. You don't have to explain it to me. I forgive you. Through it all, you are beautiful. Even if no one else gets it, I know the questions you are seeking the answers to. And I can tell you this, you will find better ways. I want to tell you about some of the things you will do after you wake up in the hospital. Some of the things that have been worth living for. You will read the book Illusions by Richard Bach, and it will help you believe in happiness. You're going to spend a month hiking on the Appalachian Trail with a very dear friend and you will feel peace there. You will even see a bear. You will spend a month in Spain where you will fall in love with Toledo and Sevilla. You won't remember Barcelona too well, but you'll have some great anecdotes from what you do recall. And while you're in the Basque territory, you will eat some cheese. <laughs> this cheese is so un unbelievably good. You will feel indecent eating it in public. You will forgive the bullies and the rapists. You will forgive your family and you will come to understand them. You will live at the Zen Center and while you are there you will meet people who accept the fullness of who you are including your many contradictions and your deep pain. You will be meditating a lot and you will be able to look into your heart and into each moment without flinching. You will learn that there is a word for the ambiguity you feel, genderqueer. You will embrace it and you will rise into true self-expression. You will eventually graduate from college with a major in writing and minors in history and journalism. You will write a book of poetry. It's not published yet, but it will be. It's really good. Your first poem is going to be published in a literary journal when you're still 26. Keep at it. You've got skills. You will fall in love with an incredible person. Her name is Alicia. Keep an eye out for her. Z's incredible. 
You guys will live in a beautiful home with a big backyard, a wood-burning stove, and two very silly cats. Your many friends will come over for bonfires and potlucks, and you will know how loved and how lovable you are. You will work for an LGBT activism organization in Rochester, just down the street from the Zen Center. You will do your job well, and you will know that you are helping. You will get a grant to teach creative writing workshops at women's shelters, retirement homes, mental health facilities, um, ESL groups, even maximum security detention centers. You will know that your ability to understand struggle helps you to bring healing into the world. How cool is that? I won't lie to you. Life can still be difficult and painful for you at times. Memories that you wish would fade will linger. But it is all worth it. I am so glad you're alive. I love you.